just wanted to quickly come on here talk about this hair that I have the hair that I had up until I had braids and then I had braids and now I'm back to this now I want to talk about this hair because I think it will save so many people time and money this hair is literally dead ass a wig like this hair came as a wig all I had to do to it was pluck it to the lace this hair is from Ali Annabelle hair and I will leave details about this um, wig down below they sent it to me so quick I want to say it came within like a week um, of like ordering it. The quality of the, this hair is so good. Actually, you don't have to do anything major to it apart from tinting it and plucking it. That's it. And even plucking it, it already came pre plucked. I just wanted to pluck it because I wanted to have like some baby hairs and some stuff because I wanted them to be able to pull my hair back. Apart from that, you literally don't have to do anything to it. So if you're not the best with doing hair or stuff, this hair is perfect for you. If you're a student like me, you have placement, you have lectures early in the morning, you just want something to pop on and go. This is literally the hair for that. It's really that good. I'll leave details down below for the specs and the link and where you guys can purchase it. This hair sheds, but it's nothing um, crazy. It literally lays perfectly. So I've had this wig for a while. It lays so well. Um, and what I like about it is for school or placement, I can literally pull my hair back, wrap it up in a bun, and I'm good to go. And then if I want to style it, I can have it long, long enough to have like a nice sleek. Um, look it takes minimal effort with this hair and that's what I love about it but um yeah this hair is Ali Annabelle hair um, it's a wig pre plucked already amazing 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 hair I've gone from braids to having my natural hair out and to slapping back on a wig but and the hair is just too good black med students or nurses students or PA students anyone basically that's doing any kind of health science related course and you have to do placement let me know what kind of um hair you like to have um for uni and placement the braids definitely saved me a lot of time however i do love a wig i love a straight i just like a wig like i love a good wig because i love the versatility of wigs especially this wig i really like this wig because nothing beats a straight black wig i don't know I'm always in two minds. I love, I like changing my hair very frequently, but um, I realise that I'm always reaching for a straight black wig. But I love this, like, this is just screaming professional. This hair is just so, like, doesn't this just give you, like, bougie vibes? Like, this is, like, guys, you literally cannot go wrong with straight black hair. Straight black, or 1B, because this is a cheeky brown, but this hair goes with everything if you want to put it up you can put it up you know if you've got placement you're about to do something you want to see a patient you can put it up love it love this hair let me know down in the comments below what your preferred hair what type of hair you prefer to have during placement and school this is obviously not conducive to have if you're examining the patient or something but i mean when you're just walking around and you're just doing admin work honey this hair is beautiful. Love it. <gasps> Love it. Also, I do want to add some colour to my hair, but I just don't know what to do. I kind of want to do something drastic. Not like blonde. I don't want to do anything too drastic, but I don't know. I kind of want to do something different for Christmas, but I'm just not sure what I want to do. Let me know how you guys are liking this hair. Also, let me know what I should do next. Let me know what colour I should add next to my hair. Okay, back to the vlog. It's Wednesday, just starting the vlog today because, um, it's the first week back post reading week and today is exam day better day to start the vlog got a stomach ache um how am i feeling about this exam i mean it's not real it's not a real exam it's formative so it doesn't count towards anything it's just kind of to see where we're at i'm taking it seriously because i want to know where i'm at i'm not too sure how what i'm gonna do reading week i didn't actually rest in undergraduate reading week was just a week of it's basically half term you didn't do any work in reading week this is the first time 
I've had a reading week and I've actually done work. Like I've, I've literally studied every single day and the days I didn't study was Thursday and that was because I was at placement. I've worked, like I haven't not done anything or I haven't not prepared towards it. But I just think I've studied, but how smart, how efficient was my studying? Um, and I definitely think that's where I need to improve. Um, I need to learn how to study effectively because I do feel like I waste a lot of time on things that I shouldn't spend so much time on. It's partly that, it's partly not being as efficient and it's also kind of being too hard on myself. So it's like, I'm expecting to just study something, read over something once and um, understand it. And that's not the case. For me, repetition works. Testing myself on repetition is the best way I learn. Saying to Stephanie that, I said to her that I've been struggling to kind of figure out what um, study technique works best for me but I'm just going to go back to basics and think about the last time I smashed exams which was GCSEs, is that real? The last time I smashed my exams like was science-y, science related was GCSEs and when I think about the techniques I used for my GCSEs it was um, repetition, testing myself, testing myself constantly, constantly and knowing um so i like i know the knowledge so um i think i've got the understanding bit on smash because of the nature of this course i'm studying to become a medical professional repetition and just memorizing things is not helpful i need to understand things and know how to clinically decipher between um things it's one thing to just memorize it but it's another thing to understand a patient could come like this um, presented X, Y, and Z, and I need to be able to funnel and sieve through all the things I know in my brain and be able to be like, okay, it could be this. It's not as easy to make the links in your head when you know the knowledge, but to put it all together is not that easy. I think I'm just going to go to a room or something and just read and chill. I just feel like if I stay with everyone, I'm gonna panic. <laughs> like people say things and I'm gonna think, oh my gosh, I don't know this and it's gonna make me panic, so I'm not gonna do that to myself. At this point, I'm just like, it is what it is. I can only do my best. Um, and even if I don't do as well as I hope, at least I know that, okay, I need to work harder. Anyway, I've been rambling enough, let me get inside and study a little bit and then just get this over and done with so I can get on with my day. <sighs> I definitely don't want to try it. Oh my gosh, this has been recorded for 17 minutes. <laughs> How do you find an example? Good. Can we get hats? That's what I'm saying. I mean, do you think you've got the best? That was a change in tune, Harry. How was it? It was okay. For two days of revision and a whole night, I think I probably scraped it. <laughs> How was it, Zoe? I know the next week. Why the fuck was it? We're looking at dresses. <laughs> that is so bad. How much is that one? Oh my gosh. So we just found out about this website from Jazzle called Reformation. I've never heard of it, but they have the nicest dresses ever. <laughs>
Happy Friday! Oh, I just felt this gum. Now we've been chewing, chewing gum for ages and it just gets to that really nasty stage. Wear my favourite jumper. My sister hates this jumper. I don't know if I've said this before. I feel like I say this every time I wear it. Bar the exam we had on Wednesday. This week hasn't been crazy at all. We got our timetable for the next two weeks, which is early. We usually get it every other week, but we've gotten it quite early this week. So I know what's coming up the next two weeks, um, which is good mm -hmm. information to have. That wasn't me, that was my car. <laughs> my car makes these noises. I don't know whether it's because it's a hybrid. It makes these noises like when I park up and it just sounds like a really loud fart and it just freaks me out sometimes. I'm just trying to see what we have today. So we were meant to have a pharmacology lecture. It was meant to be medicines used in acute and long-term management of respiratory disease. That's cancelled because the lecturer is sick. The second session we have today is on taking a rest history and, a, and performing an examination. 11 o'clock, I have to get an injection. So I had to get my MMR, my second MMR. So apparently you meant to get MMR twice in your lifetime. I don't know that for you just get it once. Um, so I need to get my, so I've done one injection of my second MMR, but I think it's, it's either a second injection I have to do or they're going to do a blood test. I'm not actually sure what they're doing today, but they're doing something because I've got an appointment at 11 o'clock. So I'm going to quickly go and do that halfway through um, our session and then I'm going to come back and finish finish history. We finish at, um, we finish at one o'clock today, which is good. I'm so happy it's Friday. Um, I had placement yesterday it was really good i went to a care home which was very very interesting um the first time i went to a care home was two weeks ago yesterday was interesting because we went to a care home so i went with one of the doctors but we did like a round and so there's a list of patients and you literally just have to different obviously different people have different issues and some people have their children with them like they have like concerns and stuff and you know the doctor they're there to meet the doctor to kind of discuss it with them it was interesting. Care of the elderly is very interesting. It's very time consuming. Um, like I realised that the rounds can take two hours, two and a half hours to do because there's just so much to get through and you're having to meet patients and relatives, ideas, concerns and expectations. So there's this thing called ICE in medicine, which is called ideas, concerns and expectations. And it's basically you as a clinician have to understand it's just to make sure that you're meeting their expectations you're addressing their concerns and like you're touching on what they think it is so they don't ever leave you thinking that like, you haven't answered any questions nobody wants to see a patient especially in a vulnerable situation as having to see a doctor because something is wrong you want to leave with peace of mind as much peace of mind as you can have so yeah that's ideas concerns and expectations in care of the el elderly you're not just dealing with the patient you're dealing with their relatives as well and it's the same with pediatrics i feel like the young the super young and the super old is kind of like similar ish they're very very dependent on um people around them in my ranking of um specialities that i want to do after i'm not really into care of the elderly however i do feel like i've grown to love old people a bit more like they're just really sweet well the ones i've met so far they're really sweet when you meet old people you know who was a bit fiery and who was a bit spicy when they were younger because they just never change but most of them are just so sweet <laughs> Today's patient, even though I have a stethoscope, and I'm just waiting for Zoe. Are you what? Yes, excuse me. Really? <laughs> really? <laughs> Hello. 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 Hello.
How's everyone today? Good. So guys, we got our results today and I'm pleasantly surprised and pre pleasantly impressed with myself. Um, yeah, I don't know what else to say. Had our like results this morning and then we kind of went through it. And then now we have, what do we have? Peak flow and inhalers. Peak flow and inhaler session and the peak flows and inhalers are over there. And <laughs> this girl, this girl is not to me. Yeah. Anatomy. Know your anatomy. Do the whole two years and then come and do the two years. <laughs> and the dark. There's, there's no time. I'm so sleepy. What would you like to tell people? Cut your hair long. Don't come in with long hair. Yeah. That is the only thing I can tell you. <laughs> oh, oh, and um, if you want to lock your relationship in while do you're doing this course, do just now. propose. Just propose. That's the easy way to do it. That's how you do it. I shall be on your give some you Give some words of wisdom to oh, future well, PA students. So welcome oh, to yeah. All Smile Sumi's blog. All <laughs> said it wrong. All Smile Sumi's blog. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Piran and this is Habib. Habib, would you, would you like to start off about advice? <laughs> 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 I question why I did it sometimes. So. <laughs> if you are going to start this course, you have to be on the ball from the get-go. Yeah. It's an express train. So, if you... It's an express train. Yeah, like, you know that train you get from Waterloo to wherever you're going? It's a that doesn't stop. <laughs> it's it's that train, yeah? And that stops at every station. Nah. It's the, it's the nah. southeastern train, yeah? You're the one train, that's yeah? going straight through. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone's there just watching your train go past. Yeah? It's that train. How did I prepare? Did you yeah, how did you prepare? Like, how did your I? background. Well, honestly, I didn't prepare for it. <laughs> shall I, just, shall, yeah, be, shall I be just, very honest with you? I actually did no preparation. I turned up and yeah. I didn't know what I was doing. I tried to prepare and it just didn't work. Same. Well, it's holistic care. <laughs> that was... I got, well, yeah, asked, I got I just, asked like, in my interview. I just made sure I knew what holistic care meant. <laughs> I got asked that in the interview only because why you want to do that? Why not medicine? Those are the main questions. Oh yeah. No, I never got asked why not medicine. I didn't get asked. Yeah, I, I feel like this is more intense than medicine. This is very yes. intense. I thought. I love taking the piss. <laughs> I think he is dyslexic. I actually think I am. I know. I mean, I'm, I'm dyslexic. Hi, I'm ever dyslexic. My friend has a company called Flint Networks. Check it out. I'm right. Can we sign this out while you guys can? It's Piran. Piran. Sign out. This is Piran's vlog. Sign out. This is Piran's vlog. Signing out. Signing out. This is Piran's vlog. Over. Piran's. Imagine. Yeah. Did vlogs, this is what it would be like. <laughs> Dead. <laughs> <laughs> hey guys. It is Friday. I'm so happy it is Friday because I'm genuinely, genuinely exhausted. Yesterday we had placement as usual. Um, I'm trying to think if anything out of the ordinary happened, but nothing like nothing did. Oh, actually, I heard um crackles lung crackles for the first time i've never heard lung crackles it was like a really weird experience we had a patient um and he was complaining about he felt like his nose was congested and it was dripping to the back of his throat um which was kind of giving him like a productive cough productive meaning like he coughs and something comes up but it wasn't consistent so sometimes he would produce sputum sometimes he wouldn't so obviously the first thing we wanted to do was to um, listen to his lungs. So 
we've been learning how to perform um, respiratory examinations. So the GP said to me, do you want to listen to his lungs? I was listening and then um, obviously I was telling him to breathe in and out and I'm literally like hearing some of it. Does that sound normal? <laughs> At one point it was literally freaking me out because I was like, surely this is not, I'm not meant to be hearing this. And it literally kind of sounds like velcro like it was very loud prominent crackles yeah so i've heard crackles for the first time and now i know what i'm meant to be listening out for because a lot of the times when you're examining patients you're told to look out for certain things like murmur crackles and it's like until you've heard it once you will never really know what you're looking for so when you've heard it once you know what it always sounds like so you know how to spot it that was it i was just really exhausted i didn't really get much sleep last night because i woke up randomly in the middle of the night and i just didn't i couldn't get back to sleep for like two hours um it's black friday sales today and i'm not getting sucked in but i do want to buy something from body shop and they're doing 30 percent off because i feel like i'm breaking out on my cheeks and i'm not too sure why i'm not too sure what's going on but i am i don't know whether it's stress so today's we start at nine o'clock like a 9 a.m start on a friday is just exhausting so we start at nine today and we literally finish at like 4:35. um we have a full day back to back of lectures we're wrapping up our first respiratory case um and then we've got a second case next week i'm enjoying respiratory um definitely prefer it more than msk which again confirms to me that msk is not my favorite topic so far and um i've been using past medicine to do like the practice questions so when i want to learn new content i go to osmosis and then when i want to do like examination type questions i go to past medicine and i recently got the final year one and it is so difficult it's unbelievably hard oh also at placement i literally got a wad of bnf books she gave me seven bnf books seven um so i talked to harry talked to I gave two away on my Instagram and I'm giving one to Tender, literally all the books. They went within, I want to say like five minutes, um, the, all the books went. I realised that BNF has an app as well, but you can literally search for anything you want. So let's say I, want to, I wanted to search Ferris Fumarat. I wanted to search for some iron tablets. You literally have it here. Doses, contraindications, side effects, like literally has everything. And this is just as handy. Um, the only reason I really want a book because sometimes I just like to open up a physical book and highlight and do all of that jazz But if you're on the go and stuff, it's really good. I really rambled for like 10 minutes. It's enough now um, I'll catch up with you guys today at some point Enjoy lecture. I don't know. I'll see you guys actually gonna edit this though. yeah it's yeah. going in mate no i thought you were just gonna put no. this on the banter log like. no. <laughs> <laughs> oh love it benedict could stay like that all the time <laughs> so that user that loves me i love you too <laughs> 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 oh, 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 <laughs> I would be, I would be angry. Separate vlog just for you. Bloopers. Bloopers. Bloopers.